Hey guys, welcome back. So today, chill lang tayo, usap-usap lang. A few weeks back, na alala nyo, nagtanong ako sa IG stories ko. I ask you for questions that you want to ask me. So ngayon, sasagutin lang natin yun. Yun lang yung gagawin natin today. Walang makeup, usap lang. But before that, please, please do subscribe and like this video. Comment down below kung may mga questions pa kayo that I can answer next time. Go ahead. So ngayon, first question. Favorite YouTuber ka daw. International na favorite na YouTuber ko is kung entertainment purposes, si Teresa is dead. I-check out nyo siya. Sobrang nakakatawa siya and entertaining. Makeup din yung ginagawa niya, pero basta, ibang, ibang atake yung ginagawa niya. Nakakatawa yung mga stories niya, kung paano niya dinideliver, kung paano siya mag-review. And then, kung gusto ko manood ng tutorial talaga yung mga ganyan na videos si Hung Van Go hindi ko alam pa paano sabihin yung pangalan niya I think it's Hung Van Go gusto ko yung mga videos niya ang galing niya mag makeup pinafollow ko din siya sa IG sobrang gusto ko kung paano siya nag makeup yung looks na ginagawa niya I think he's Vietnamese, pero sa ibang country na siya nakasettle ngayon kasi nga marami na siyang mga Hollywood clients ganun na siya kalaki dito sa local, I love John Ray. Si John Ray talaga kasi matatrust mo yung mga reviews niya. Tapos nakakatawa din siya. Parang feeling ko makasundo ko siya. <laughs> Ganyan. Also, Ann Clute, si Mama Ann. Gusto ko din siya kasi very genuine yung persona niya. Parang I feel like kung sino yung nakikita mo sa video, yun din yung makikilala mo pag nakilala mo siya. So, yun yung dalawang YouTubers naman na dito sa local dito sa Pilipinas na gustong gusto ko. Next question is, paano daw ako nag-start mag-YouTube? Na-answer ko na ata to dati, pero I started because I wanted to for a long time. Tapos, sabi ko nung 2019, nung nag-2020, sige, ito na, January, magsa-start na ako. So, January 2 ata, nag-post ako ng content, doon ako nag-start. And then, parang 2 weeks ko lang siya na-hold, tapos nag-stop na ako kasi maraming problema yung dumating nung time na yun. And I couldn't really focus on YouTubing anymore. Hindi siya parang natural sa akin. Natural? <laughs> Hindi siya natural sa akin. Kaya parang, wala. Nag-stop na ako, tapos bumalik na lang ako nung May, and then from then, naging consistent na ako, and here we are! <laughs> May nagtanong din if I'm the one who edits my videos. Yes, ako yung nag-shoot, ako nag-edit, ako nag-picture, everything. Siyempre, wala naman tayong budget magpagawa or magpa-edit pa sa iba, kasi ang lit-lit pa lang natin, wala pa nga tayong kinikita dito. So, yes, I do everything, kaya medyo gapang ako, minsan may namimiss ako na weeks, but ngayon na vlogmas tayo, na two times a week tayo mag upload kamusta naman yung two times a week lang. Yun lang kasi yung kaya ko, kaya hay, yun. Tapos may nagtanong din kung paano ako natutong gumawa ng camera, mag-edit, mag-picture. Ang sagot dyan ay YouTube. Ni YouTube ko lang lahat para maintindihan yung mga setting-settings, yung mga ganyan. So, that's how I learned. That's how I learned to edit also. So, everything is in Google. Everything is in YouTube. So, kung gusto nyo talagang simulan, kung gusto nyo matuto, there's a way. Next question I got is, does views matter to you? Up to a certain point, nagmamatter siya sa akin. Pero, I look more dun sa average view duration. Kung gaano katagal nagsistay yung mga tao. Kasi, yung goal ko talaga, paangatin yun ang paangatin. Ibig sabihin kasi nun, maganda yung quality ng video ko pag mataas yung view duration. ba? Diba? So, mas dun ako tumitingin. Kasi, I feel like yung views would be, ano na lang, effect na lang ng magandang quality na video. Same with subscriber count. As in, kung maganda yung view duration mo, kung maganda yung quality ng video mo, dun na ano yun eh, magpa-follow na lang yung number of views, magpa-follow na lang yung subscribers. So, yun. So, that's my answer. View duration over view count. Next question is how old na daw ako. So, I am 30 years old. Alam ko may mga tao na parang awkward sila pag tinanong sila ng age nila. For me naman, okay lang. I'm proud to be 30. Oo oh, nga, 30! Grabe to! I'm proud. <laughs> Inaasar nila ako. I'm proud to be 30. Okay lang naman sa akin yun. Bakit ilang taon ka na ba? Inaasar ako. Pero yun, it's okay. I'm 30 and I'm happy. Okay naman. <laughs> Another one is, ano daw yung essence of wearing makeup for me? Wearing makeup is really, really fun for me. Alam ko may mga tao na parang they hate wearing makeup or hindi yun yung type nilang gawin. Ako kasi, 
pagdating sa makeup, mga arte talaga ako. As in, I really look for products na I like and alam ko nagagamitin ko. Kahit medyo mahal, bibilhin ko yon Basta it really looks good on me and it suits me and alam ko nagagamitin ko siya. Makeup is like, let's say mga handbags na mahal for others, yun yung kinokollect nila. Ako, eyeshadow palettes, I collect it. As in, meron ako talagang medyo mga mahal na eyeshadow palettes and hindi masama yung loob ko about it kasi I really, really like it. I love playing with eyeshadow. I love being creative with it. I like makeup. Gusto kong maayos yung itsura ko pag lumalabas ako. Though most of the time ngayon, hindi na. <laughs> Pero like kung may event akong pupuntahan, I enjoy thinking about what look yung gagawin ko, yung mga ganyan. And then meron dito, do you curl your hair po? Pa shout out po. Hi Liam Liza Pescasio. Hi, hi. Hindi ko alam ko Liam or Liza. Hi Liam, hi Liza. Um, yes, I do curl my hair pero sobrang minsan lang. As in, halos never. Kasi nakakatamad. Ang tagal mag-curl ng hair. Tapos yung hair ko din sobrang straight. So, kailangan ko talaga gumamit ng mga products para lang mag-stay siya ng matagal. Kaya, that's very, very rare na mag-curl ako ng hair. Pero siguro next time, sa mga ibang videos ko, maybe I can curl my hair para makita nyo. <laughs> advice po sa mga tulad namin kaka-start lang mag-venture sa makeup. My advice to you is watch a lot of YouTube videos para makita nyo yung iba't ibang techniques and then, i-apply nyo. Huwag puro nood. Apply nyo and then tignan nyo kung ano yung mag-work for you. Kasi like ako, nung nag-start pa lang ako a few years back, medyo, yung a few years back na ano ha, na talagang medyo tumututok na ako mag-makeup and nagre-research na ako. Kasi before, makeup-makeup lang ako for performances, pero wala naman talaga akong pake. Apply nyo and then tignan nyo if nag-work para sa inyo. That's how you would know kung ano yung okay for you, kung ano yung maganda sa skin tone nyo, skin type nyo, sa mga wrinkles nyo, kung okay ba yung mga product. Talagang kailangan nyo mag-practice, kailangan nyo mag-play around with a lot of techniques, a lot of products. Yun, yun yung advice ko sa inyo. Watch, learn, research, and then apply. And then, meron din questions. How do I take care of my skin? Tapos mukha daw akong bata. Sana ba yun? Uh, kala daw niya kasing age ko lang siya or two years older. Paano daw maging glowing? Yes! Thank you naman! <laughs> Grabe naman yun. Uh, hindi ko alam. I try to take care of my skin as much as I can. As in, I follow my skincare routine as religiously as kaya ko. Pero, I do have my days na hindi ko talaga siya napafollow kasi nakakatamad talaga. Yun yung totoo. Aminin nyo, nakakatamad mag-skincare. Pero, I try to follow it. I try to drink lots of water kahit na Lagi din ako napapagsabihan na uminom ng tubig. And I try to drink my vitamins every day kahit na tamad din ako uminom ng vitamins. So, tamad ako na tao pagdating sa vitamins at sa skincare. Pero I try my best to really stick to our routine para maalagaan yung face natin <laughs> and yung body natin. Ito pa, may tanong din. Ha? Wait. Paano po ma-maintain yung ganyang... Body, what's your secret to have a good skin and fit body? Um, actually, hindi well maintained yung body ko ngayon. As in right at this moment, hindi. I'm trying to go back into getting into a routine. Pero since the pandemic, medyo pangit yung exercise routine ko. As in, tumaba talaga ako. And hindi na as fit or as tight yung katawan ko. Pero I'm trying, I'm trying to work out again regularly. Okay, last two questions na. Kasi parang ang dami ko na rin atang sinabi. Almost 30 minutes na yung na-shoot ko na video. Ito mga serious questions na medyo, di ba? <laughs> so, what is my motivation? What keeps me going? Siyempre, isa lang naman yung sagot dyan. And it's family. Yung anak ko, which is my life, yung husband ko, my parents, my brothers and sisters, my family. As in, pagka hirap na hirap na ako, I know I have a family to turn to. Pagka malungkot ako, nandyan yung anak ko na pinapatawa ako lagi. 
yun, it's my family na talaga nagpo-po sa akin. Pati itong pag-YouTube na minsan, nag-give up na ako, ayoko na, tinatamad na ako. Kasi, ang hirap talaga niya, guys. As in promise, hindi madali mag-YouTube. Akala lang natin dati madali. Pero, it's not that easy. Siguro, when you reach the top, medyo mas madali na, may editors ka na, alam mo na yung ginagawa mo talaga. Pero, when you're starting, ang hirap talaga. And you can't discount na yung mga taong naka-reach na ng million subscriber or whatever, pinaghirapan din nila yon So, it's not an easy job to fulfill. Wow, humaba na yung ano, humaba na yung sagot ko. Hindi na yun yung tanong. Pero yun, family, my son most especially, is my biggest motivation to keep going. Go lang ng go, push lang ng push. Life is not perfect, life is not fair, but it is just. Yan yung lagi ko sinasabi. And last and pinaka seryosong question of all, biggest struggle in life and how were you able to overcome it? So itong 2020 na to has been the most sabog na year. As in, ang hirap nung taon na to. Ang daming struggles talaga. Those close to us alam lahat ng mga pinagdaanan namin ngayong 2020. Naiyak. <laughs> the joke lang, di ako iyak. Um... Pero siguro yung biggest, biggest this year is, syempre, yung miscarriage ko, yung stillborn. For you, those na hindi pa alam, I actually lost my baby girl at five months. Five months na. And yun yung biggest struggle talaga. Tapos, April pa yun nung nagka-miscarriage ako. Kaya, kasagsagan nung kapraningan pagdating sa COVID. Tapos, syempre, I had to go to the hospital. Wala akong room, so I had to stay dun sa parang delivery room nila. Nandun lang ako. For three days, kasi hindi nga ako mag-go, hindi ako nag-go into labor. Tapos, kwento ko na ba? Kwento ko na ng konti. Tapos, edi ini-induce nila ako. Isipin mo, parang more than 24 hours ako induced, tapos walang pain reliever. So, talagang nagko-contractions ako, nagli-labor ako. Ang sakit. Pero hindi, hindi naman yun yung mataas pain tolerance ko. Pero masakit talaga siya. Pero hindi naman yun yung struggle talaga. Yung struggle, syempre, was emotionally, alam mo, manganak ka, pero wala kang baby na iuwi. Yung mga ganyan. Tapos, isa pa, edi, for you to be admitted, you have to get the swab test. Tapos, I was negative. Pero, when I got the result, a day after, nalaman ko na yung katabi ko was positive for COVID. So, yun, isa pang stress yun. Pero awa naman ng Diyos, hindi naman ako nag-positive, I think. <laughs> hindi na ako nag-test ulit. Pero I self-quarantined for another two weeks or three weeks to a month before ako lumabas and before ko nakita ulit si XJ. Yun pa, hindi ko siya nakita for more than a month. Yun, so that's the biggest struggle for me. I think naman 2020 is closing on a good note. So I'm really, really happy na matatapos na yung 2020, okay na kami, we're happy now, I don't think we have any problems. Yun, yun na. And how do did I overcome it? Again, I have my family, sila yung sandalan ko, I talk to them. And prayer. Guys, hindi nyo alam yung nagagawa ng prayer talaga. Yun. That's how I overcome it. Ito din pag YouTube, syempre, something na ano, pinagkakaabalahan ko, nawawala yung problems, konti, pag nag youtube Yan, it's hard. YouTubing is hard, pero it does helps in, it does helps. <laughs> it does help in a lot of ways also. So, yan, thank you to you guys. Kayo din, isa din kayo sa mga pillars, ah. Isa din kayo sa mga motivation ko. Kasi sobrang happy ko din na may mga tao na alam ko nakikinig sa akin na enjoy yung content ko. Pag nagre-reply kayo, nagre-reply din talaga ako kasi I really want to make our relationship with you guys. Yun. Yan! I don't know how many questions yun na-answer ko pero I think sobrang haba na. And I hope na enjoy nyo naman yung pag-answer ko. Alam ko hindi to parang nakakatawa na ano, nag wild wild. But this is how I am when you talk to me. Ganto lang ako. And yun. Pero nakakatawa din naman ata ako. Minsan. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Kung umabot kayo sa part na to, na pa-end na. Thank you for listening to me. Daldal. Magdaldal lang. For the next video, I'm gonna be reviewing another product na naman. So, balik makeup ulit tayo. Again, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And if na-enjoy niyo yung episode, yung video na to, 
Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, follow me on all my social media channels, comment down below, and I'll see you on my next video. Thank you! Bye!